Okay, let's do a combination of rules here. So, uh, looks like on the top here, I've got the product rule, which means I'm going to add the exponents. So I'm just going to do this to one side. 5 over 2, and I'm just doing the exponents, and I'm going to add negative 1 third. So in other words, I'm subtracting. So that's it, okay? So that one, add that one. So negative, okay, so this involves common denominators, folks. Come on, remember your fractions. Common denominator of 2 and 3 is 6, all right? Multiply by 3 to get there, so do the same to the top, that's 15. Multiply by 2 to get there, do the same to the top, that's 2. The answer is 13 16. Okay, so right now on the top I've got x 13 sixes, all right? Thir 13 over 6, is that right? 15 take away 2. There, that's on the top. On the bottom, I've still got negative 6 fifths, okay? So that's it. I just added the exponents on the numerator because that was a multiplication, and I got that. Now, what do we do with the quotient? The quotient rule is you subtract. So I'm going to now subtract exponents, okay? So 13, 6, take away, and be careful, it's a negative 6 fifths. Okay, so remember, I'm just subtracting these two because it's the quotient rule now, but that's a double negative, so eventually I'll be adding these, remember. But I still need to go for common denominators. So 6 and 5, that's 30. Okay, remember, I'm adding now 30. Right, I've multiplied by 5 to go from here to here, do the same to the top. What's 5 times 13? 65. Okay. I'll multiply by 6 to go from here to here, do the same to the top. 6 times 6 is 36. Whew, what's that? Flipping heck. 101? 101, is that right? 65 and 36 is 101 over 30. Then, folks, that's the answer. The answer is x to the power duh, 101 over 30. All right, that's it. Yeah, horrible numbers, but that's it. Looks bad, but that's it. By the way, if I did want to write it as a radical, suppose and things like this, remember? Right. It's the 30th root. Okay, that's the one on the outside. X to the power 101. All right? So that's what it would be if I had to, let's get that a bit better, write that as a radical. So just remember how we write them, okay? So that's just changing from uh, a rational exponent to a radical. Okay, but that's the answer for this one. There you go. Okay, add exponents, subtract exponents.